Welcome to Galaxy Log, a monthly video about observing galaxies that would be best seen in the upcoming month's dark window or near new moon. We will choose three galaxies for prime observation, with one each for smaller telescopes up to 5 inches, medium scopes 6 to 12, and large scopes over 12 inches. Hello Galaxy Observers. Galaxy Log is going through a change and my wish is you'll get more out of the videos and the joy of observing these greatest of objects. What you see with this month's galaxies is something we're calling Galaxy Log Near View. The images will be a close representation of the eyepiece view through various telescopes. This will be done using notes and some modest sketching to adjust the photo image of the galaxy so it looks more like the actual view at the eyepiece. Thank you and enjoy the new Galaxy Log. For Galaxy Log date 08.2014, we will head to Hercules, Ursa Minor, and Lyra for this month's galaxies. Our first galaxy for this month, we head to Hercules and the spiral NGC 6181. I originally intended this galaxy to be observed by only a medium sized scope or larger, but I thought it would be a nice challenge in one of the smaller scopes. So with a 5 inch f5 reflector on an exceptional night at a local dark site, I decided to give 6181 a go. I first saw the galaxy with a 12 mm super wide foot eyepiece. It was quite a small glow near 11.5 magnitude star. Best used with 7 mm super wide field and 5.5 mm ultra wide field eyepieces. 6181 was seen here as a small oval glow with a very faint core. Added observing note. As I mentioned that I wanted to observe this galaxy with a larger scope. So having the 8 inch F9 refractor set up nearby, I zeroed in on 6181. Best view was with an 8mm ultra wide foot eyepiece. And 6181 showed some detail. The galaxy is also seen here as oval in shape though much brighter. The core stood out well. The northern end showed, as I described, a short pointing extension. This was part of the northern spiral arm. We head off to Ursa Minor and its brightest galaxy, NGC 6217. I observed this barred spiral galaxy with my 8 inch F9 refractor on an Exxon night at a local dark site. I first located 6217 with a 20mm ultra wide foot eyepiece, which showed the galaxy is a bit of a rectangular shape and a tiny stellar nucleus. Inserting an 8mm ultra wide foot eyepiece gave it an outstanding view. The stellar nucleus is bright and set within a mottled rectangular disk. There's a faint elongated patch just northwest of the core, which is part of the central bar of the galaxy. This is a fine late summer galaxy that responds well to aperture and dark skies. Final destination for this month, we had the Lyra and the spiral galaxy NGC 6675. I observed 6675 using my 12.5 inch f4.8 dob on a very transparent night from a good dark site. I first located 6675 using a 25mm plasma eyepiece, and the galaxy was seen as a round glow in a rich field of stars. The SCU came using a 7mm wide foot eyepiece. Here the galaxy shared a round mottled disk with a slightly brighter center. We also have a CAS member who viewed 6675 from the very dark skies of Cherry Springs 
using his 25 inch F4 dock. His best view came using a 7mm ultra wide foot eyepiece. He mentioned in his notes that the spiral nature of this face on Galaxy was seen. In particular, seeing a faint wide diffuse arm just west southwest of center. He also saw the faint galaxy PGC 2159396, that is to the southwest of 6675. This is a galaxy that lies in a nice field of stars that highlights the overall view, particularly in a wide field eyepiece. Well, that's it for this month's galaxy log. Clear dark skies and happy galaxy observing. Also remember, there's an amazing universe all around us. Explore. Galaxy Log is a production of Have a Stellar Birthday. We work with light, time, and people. Sponsored by 90mm Observatory. Backyard Astronomy with Small Telescopes. Learn more at 90mm.org. Special thanks to the Chesmont Astronomical Society, dedicated to observational astronomy for more than 25 years. And to the music of Dave Luxton.